Hello there, dear viewers. Are you tired of the discomfort and health concerns caused by poor blood circulation in your legs and feet? Do you often wonder what you can do to get that blood flowing freely again? In this fast-paced world, it's easy to overlook the little things like the health of our legs and feet. But did you know that boosting blood flow in these areas can have a profound impact on our overall well-being? Picture a life without discomfort, without swelling or aching, and without limitations. As we age, it becomes even more crucial to prioritize our leg and foot health. Well, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're going to unravel the mysteries of leg and foot blood circulation, especially for those in their golden years. Welcome back to our channel, where our mission is to empower you with the knowledge needed to make the best health decisions, especially as you embrace life after 50. Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey into the world of improving blood circulation in your legs and feet. This knowledge is essential for relieving discomfort, preventing complications and enhancing your mobility, particularly if you're in the golden years. Remember to hit that subscribe button for more great content like this, if you haven't already done so. Understanding poor blood circulation. Before we dive into these solutions, let's shed some light on why so many of us, especially those in the 50 plus club, grapple with poor blood circulation in our legs and feet. One major player here is our modern sedentary lifestyle. All those hours spent sitting or standing without much movement can seriously hamper the flow of blood down there. Age doesn't help either. As we age, our blood vessels tend to lose some of their youthful elasticity, making it trickier for the blood to navigate smoothly. Then there are those medical conditions like diabetes or peripheral artery disease that can directly throw a wrench into our circulation system. And let's not forget about smoking and what we eat. They're often the culprits behind clogged arteries, effectively forming roadblocks for our precious blood flow. Importance of good blood circulation. Now you might be wondering, why is it so crucial to give your legs and feet better blood circulation? Well, there are several excellent reasons. First off, it's your go-to solution for relieving the nagging pain and discomfort that often comes with poor circulation, like those bothersome numbness spells, cramps, and even those dreaded leg ulcers. But it's not just about feeling better. It's about safeguarding your health too. By improving circulation, you're taking a crucial step in preventing serious complications like blood clots or deep vein thrombosis. Plus, it's a superhero for wound healing, which is especially vital if you're dealing with something like diabetes. And let's not forget how it boosts your overall mobility, ensuring you can keep enjoying life to the fullest. Remember, good circulation isn't just about your legs and feet. It's tightly linked to your heart's well-being too. Tips for better blood circulation. Now that we understand why it's essential, let's dive into some easy practical tips to boost blood circulation in your legs and feet and get your circulation in tip-top shape. One, move more, sit less. First up, it's all about avoiding prolonged sitting or standing. If you're stuck in one spot for too long, your circulation can take a hit. So make it a habit to get up, stretch and take a short walk every hour. Your legs and feet will thank you. Two, swing those legs. Have you ever tried leg swing exercises? They're super simple yet incredibly effective, like a mini workout for your circulation. There are two easy leg swing exercises you can choose from based on your fitness level and preference. Option number one, seated leg swing. Sitting on a high bench or chair, let both of your legs dangle without touching the floor. Start swinging your legs, one after the other, gently. Bring your leg all the way up in front, extending it straight, and then return it to its starting position. Do this for a few minutes, two to three times a day. Option number two, standard leg swing. Stand on a stool or block on your right leg. Use your right hand to hold on to something for balance. Now, start swinging your left leg by gently kicking it to the front and up. Try to keep your legs straight then bring it down and back by relaxing it. 
You don't have to swing your leg too high, just do it according to your comfort level. Do this for 5 to 10 minutes, switch legs, and repeat the same. 3. Elevate for relief. Leg elevation is a game changer. When you're relaxing, prop your legs up on a chair or against the wall. This helps blood flow back to your heart, reducing swelling and discomfort. Here are two easy ways to do it. Option number one, legs up the chair. Lie down on the floor and lift both your legs up on the chair in front of you. You can choose to rest your legs on the chair by straightening them or by bending them at a 90 degree angle. Hold this position for 15 to 20 minutes. Then, slowly and gently lower your legs to a relaxed position. Option number two, legs up the wall. Lie down on the floor or on your bed and lift both your legs up against the wall, extending them straight. You can choose to hold your legs at a 90 degree angle against the wall or at a 45 to 50 degree angle, as long as your legs are higher than the position of your heart. Hold this position for 15 to 20 minutes. Then, slowly and gently lower your legs to a relaxed position. We recommend starting with a few minutes for this exercise to ensure you do not face any difficulties when the blood is flowing back to your heart. Remember to stop immediately if you feel uncomfortable during this exercise and consult your healthcare professional for assistance. 4. A spa day for your feet. Who doesn't love a spa day? Well, your feet surely do. Soak your feet in warm water with Epsom salt. This foot spa therapy can relax muscles and promote circulation, plus it's incredibly soothing. 5. Hug your legs with compression socks. If you haven't tried compression socks, you're missing out. These snug-fitting socks gently squeeze your legs, helping blood flow upward. They're like a comforting hug for your limbs. 6. Warm bath bliss. Speaking of warm, a warm bath isn't just for relaxation. It opens up your blood vessels and encourages better circulation. So why not indulge in a warm soak? 7. The magic of massage. And don't forget the power of a good massage. Regularly massaging your legs and feet can work wonders. Use your favorite lotion and give yourself a little TLC. It's a win-win. Now that you've learned these easy tips to enhance blood circulation in your legs and feet, let's dive into some actionable steps. Action Steps Ready to take action? Here's your checklist for healthier leg and foot circulation. 1. Stay active. Incorporate simple leg swing exercises into your daily routine. 2. Compression wear. Consider compression stockings. 3. Elevation. Elevate your legs when possible. 4. Relaxation time. Indulge in warm baths for circulation or enjoy foot spa therapy with Epsom salt. 5. Massage magic. Regularly massage your legs and feet. 6. Consult a doctor. If you have persistent circulation issues, consult a healthcare professional. To sum it all up, maintaining healthy blood circulation in your legs and feet doesn't have to be a chore. With these simple practices, you can keep those cramps and discomfort at bay. Remember, a little self-care goes a long way. If you found these tips helpful, show some love by hitting that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more health and wellness wisdom. We'd love to hear from you too. Share your favorite circulation boosting tips in the comments below because together we can all learn and grow. Thanks for tuning in and here's to happier, healthier legs and feet. Catch you in our next video.